Did you know you can set up an Apple Watch as a phone for your young kid? Hey everyone, I'm Chad, the Dad vs. Technology. I have 20 years of professional IT experience. I also have five kids between the ages of 8 and 17. I've struggled with how to manage technology for my kids, but I've also learned a lot along the way. I'm here to share that with you and to help you get your kids' technology under control. Do you have a need to give your kid a phone? Maybe it's so you can contact them in case of an emergency or for whatever reason. But maybe you're hesitant to give them a full smartphone, maybe because of the cost or the management, or maybe because they'll lose it. The Apple Watch is a great alternative for your young kid, and I'll show you how to set one up. All right, so before we get into setting this up, um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. My oldest, my daughter, when she was going into seventh grade, our junior high school is in our neighborhood. And so for the first time, she was going to walk to school. And so for that reason, I wanted to be able to get in contact with her. I also wanted her to be able to get in contact with myself or my wife if needed in case of an emergency. Uh, at that time, Apple didn't allow for an Apple Watch to be used on its own without connection to an iPhone as sort of the main device. Um, but once my next boys uh, were getting ready to go into seventh grade, uh, Apple had released the ability for the Apple Watch to be used by itself as a cellular device. So I much preferred the Apple Watch. Not only was the device cheaper than the iPhone, but the cellular plan was cheaper through my carrier. So with that, there's a few things that I'll mention in general about using an Apple Watch as its own cell phone. The first is that you will need a cellular model of the Apple Watch, so one that has Wi-Fi plus cellular, not a Wi-Fi only model. And you'll also need a data plan from your cellular provider. You will also need to set up an Apple ID for your child and add them to your Apple family group. So for an Apple family, you can have up to six people as part of the family. And so, and that includes yourself. So you can have yourself plus five others, maybe your spouse, and then up to four kids. Now, this can be set up ahead of time using the settings app. If you go into the settings app, there's a family section. You can create the Apple ID and, and add your child to the family group there, or you can set it up while you set up the Apple Watch. All right, so let's get started. So the easiest way to set up an Apple Watch is to do it from your iPhone. So we'll bring your iPhone near the Apple Watch and you should get a pop-up, which we have here. I'm gonna click continue. So now we have the option to set up an Apple Watch. Uh, we could set it up for myself or I could set it up for the family member. So I'm going to choose family member. Now this gives us some information about Apple Watch for kids. I'll click continue. Give some information about data and privacy. I'll click continue. And now it kind of explains how setting up an Apple Watch for your kid works. It mentions that you'll need to have an Apple account for your kid and you'll need to add them to the family sharing group. Click continue. All right. So what we have here is the Apple Watch displays kind of a strange nebulous type of code. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take the iPhone and uh, the camera will activate and will allow you to put that code into the phone, which will then pair the device. Now the Apple Watch has been paired. We're gonna say set up Apple Watch. Gives us our wrist preference for our kid. Gives us some terms and conditions allows us to change the size and the boldness of a text. And now we're at the point we'll create a passcode for the Apple Watch. This is the passcode that your child will need to use when they first put on the Apple Watch on the day. So when they take it off, it'll require for the passcode to be entered for someone to get access to it.
actually set that up on the watch here. Okay, now we're at the point where we can either choose an existing family member from our family group, or we could add a new family member. If we add a new family member, uh, we have the option to use an existing Apple ID. So if your child already has an Apple ID created, or from here we can create a new Apple account for our child to get the Apple ID for them. In this case, I've already set up the Apple account for my child and I already have added them to the family sharing. So I'll just go back and I'll choose their account here. Now I'll enter their password. All right. All right, now we'll turn on location sharing for this Apple Watch. All right, now we're at the point where it's telling us the cellular is ready. So we'll click done. Now it's allowing us to share our Wi-Fi information with the Apple Watch. So I'll go ahead and skip that for now, but that will allow them to be on Wi-Fi when they're at home and then be on cellular when they're away from home. All right, and then we will once again enable location services. We can choose to allow Siri or not. I'm going to not allow it. I would recommend not to share the watch analytics with Apple, so I'm going to say don't share. We have the option to set up Apple Cash for family, which I'm not going to do now. Uh, but that's a good option for allowing them to make payments for something at school if their lunch accepts Apple Pay. Um, it's a good option. You could easily send them Apple Pay cash to their device, and then they can use the watch uh, to pay for things that way. Now we have the option to allow for messages in iCloud. I'll go ahead and allow that. Now we can allow for us to be able to view health data from our phones. Um, so the Apple Watch can send uh, the child's health data that it collects, which is very limited for kids. But I'll go ahead and request health data. All right, so that pops up with an approval here on the watch of whether to share or not share. All right, next it's giving us some safety info saying that this Apple Watch can be used as an emergency SOS. I'll just click continue. Now we can add emergency contact if the emergency SOS feature of the Apple Watch is used. So I'd recommend adding yourself to that. For now, I'll just click continue. Now we can set up a medical ID for our child that's in case of an emergency uh, and be displayed on the Apple Watch without you know, having to put in the passcode to get to it. So we can go ahead and set that up. Now I can share a medical ID if an emergency call is placed. So you can choose whether or not to share that. I'll say set up later in the Apple Watch app. Now we can personalize the health and fitness data. We can set the date of birth and the height and weight and such so that uh, it accurately reflects uh, the proper health information. And then we can set up activity to do things like remind your child to stand up or to have some goals related to fitness activity and such. I'll go ahead and skip that for now. Uh, it's possible to enable workout uh, route tracking. So uh, if your child is walking to school or if they're going to go for a jog or run or something like that, uh, you can enable that. Now we can set up contacts uh, for our child. So we'll click set up contacts. We can create a contact card for the child that has the child's information uh, in it. I'll just say set up later. Then we can update our own contact card and share it with the child. I'll go ahead and just skip that for now. Then we can add additional contacts. Now this will be relevant for the screen time settings, which um, I actually have a different video where I walk through all the details of those settings. So I'll have a link in the description for you to check out that video. 
but this will be relevant for choosing who to allow during screen time or during downtime who your child can contact. I'll just click done. Now Apple Watch for Kids also has the school time setting which will allow for uh, many of the features of the Apple Watch to be disabled during the during a set sort of time frame that you set. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, we could set the hours that it's applicable for. So I'll set it for every weekday at the default time. I'll say done. On the iPhone, we are actually in the Apple Watch app and we can see our child's Apple Watch through the app and we can change settings. So all these settings that we just walked through, we can come back into our Apple Watch app on our own iPhone and change any of the settings or set up any of the settings that we might have skipped. Now you can see on the watch that we're at the start. Put in the passcode we created. All right, now I would recommend that your child be present for this initial uh, sort of walkthrough on the Apple Watch so they get a feel for, for how it works. Uh, press the digital crown to return to your watch face. Okay. Press the side button to open control center. Press the side button to close control center. Turn the digital crown to see your widgets. And welcome to Apple Watch. Now, if you want to see additional videos for how to set up different types of devices for your kid, please let me know in the comments uh, what kind of device video setups and parental control setups that you want to see. Thanks for watching.